Hey there. So for today's tutorial, I want to take you through integrating an Illustrator document directly into an InDesign document. So the reason that you might be wanting to do this is, let's say you have a client that is remote and you want to send through a PDF of a bunch of wireframes that you've created. Uh, there's a really nice way to integrate Illustrator stuff directly into InDesign in such a way where you can edit and uh, sync two ways uh, to keep your wireframes and your documentation in check. So basically what you'd be doing is creating a bunch of wireframes in Illustrator and then creating the actual framework or documentation in InDesign. So that's what I'm going to take you through today. So I'm going to start you off. I just created these uh, fake silly wireframes. Uh, basically, you know, it's an onboarding process where uh, you're adding a photo, you're adding a username, uh, and then you're choosing your hairstyle for whatever reason. Maybe this is a hairstyle app. Uh, but we have our two wireframes here. These are designed for iOS. Um, and you can see, you know, I've created two separate art artboards for them. Uh, by the way, it's really good to make sure that you have names for your artboards. Uh, it's just a good habit to get into. Uh, artboards can get pretty unwieldy. I'll take you through that in a different tutorial. But, you know, here we have our wireframes, and let's just quickly go ahead and save them. That's Command S. Uh, boom, there you go. And let's pull up InDesign. And so I've created this little framework uh, to drop my wireframes into here in InDesign. Uh, this is what it looks like uh, in preview mode. And to switch between preview mode and normal mode, which gives you all the sort of wireframes and skeletons of the document, you just hit W, uh, and you can tab back and forth between the two. Um, so we can see that we've already dropped in a wireframe here, uh, but we have this blank uh, box over here. And so, th you know, this little template is just something that I've set up. Um, but what I can do is I can click here into this uh, empty box, hit Command-D, which is Place, um, and then just grab my wireframes. Now, here's something important. You want to go to Show Import Options. When you're working with artboards, you want to be sure that you're actually importing the right artboard. Uh, that document that we we're looking at had two different artboards. Um, and so we want to make sure that we're importing the right one. So boom, we click uh, Show Import Options. Boom. Go Open. And now we're able to select and get a little preview of the two artboards that we have. If we had three, obviously we'd have more. Um, usually when I'm doing this, uh, I make sure that I don't actually have a transparent background, just in case I'm layering wireframes on top of one another. Um, and, uh, you know, that's just my personal preference. But if, for example, you, you didn't want to necessarily show a background and you had a blank background, you can make it transparent. I'm not going to. And I make sure that I crop to crop to make sure that anything that falls off of my artboard, uh, such as over here, uh, doesn't actually get included, uh, which I find to be quite helpful. So anyway, back to here. So I'm going to select my second artboard, which is the, the uh, different hairstyles, and click OK. Boom. It's dropped in. Uh, Illustri uh, sorry, InDesign does this weird thing sometimes where if something is a different size, a source is, is a different size than a destination, um, it'll do this crop thing. There's a couple of ways that you can uh, do that. You can double click in and uh, hold down shift to resize. You can do that. Um, another probably easier way to do it and make sure that your aspect ratio is uh, correct is you can just right click, um, go to fitting, and then you can say fit content proportionally. Boom. Here's our one Illustrator document being fit into one InDesign document. Uh, but why does this matter? Like, why is this important? Well, there's, there's a couple of reasons. Let's go back to our W. Um, as you can see here, uh, we get this little uh, triangle, and it's telling me that uh, this document's actually been modified, and I can click to update. So I can click. And this actually goes back to the Illustrator document and relinks it uh, to make sure that you have the most up-to-date information, which is really nice to make sure that, hey, we didn't miss a wireframe or we have a new version of it that we haven't actually brought in yet. Uh, let me show you a more clear example of that. Let's go back to Illustrator. Um, and let's say in this case, uh, this hair over here, I just reviewed it with my visual designer. Uh, he doesn't really like it. He actually thinks that it might make more sense for us to include a bald person's head for whatever reason. Um, that's easy, no problem. I can get rid of that, just hit delete and get rid of it. Uh, here's this great bald guy that we've created this icon for. Uh, copy that with a command C. Uh, paste it in uh, on top, which is a command F. Um, I just happen to know where it is and I got it right, but you know, you can move this guy around and bring it in. Um, but yeah, command F, and now I can hit save. And when I go back to InDesign, 
Again, I see this little triangle here telling me, hey, this thing has been modified. Uh, it also shows up in your links panel over here um, where you know I have an issue with my modification. I can click on it and uh, modify it and update it, or I can just go to my links panel. Um, and down here, I have this update all instances of wireframes.ai. And if I hold option click, it will literally go through every single Illustrator document that I have integrated into this uh, InDesign document and update them all. So if I just click this one button, boom, as you can see here, it updates and my bald guy is now included into um, my new wireframe pack. So again, you know, pretty straightforward way of working between uh, Illustrator and InDesign. And this is one of the key benefits that I find of actually staying in the Adobe ecosystem. Although I do use Sketch and other tools as well. Uh, this is uh, something that I use all the time when I'm building out documentation, uh, when I'm trying to annotate a bunch of wireframes. Uh, it's just a really nice way of making sure that all of the documentation and all of the different screens that I'm putting into my documentation are the most relevant and most up-to-date uh, screens. So that's about that for integrating an Illustrator document into an InDesign document. There's many more integrations that you can have uh, with InDesign, which is really cool. So you can also do something very similar with PDFs, which is generally how I work when I'm working with Sketch and uh, InDesign. I'll generate PDFs out of Sketch and then import them into InDesign. Um, but this sort of method of save and automatically update uh, is a really nice way of working. Uh, it's also really helpful when you're working in tandem with another designer where one designer will be uh, updating or editing wireframes and somebody else will be sucking them into the design documentation and you're working over something like Google Drive or Dropbox uh, as things update on Google Drive and Dropbox um, they'll come in directly and you'll be notified that there is a change that was made so it's nice to work uh, as a collaborative tool as well. Finally one of the key benefits of this is that you're not switching to raster at any point. Uh, everything is staying in vector. I know that that's a little bit uh, technical, but basically all that means is that um, your lines stay crisp and they stay scalable and you're never actually generating any images. You're going directly from Illustrator to InDesign, uh, which is a really nice, clean way of working. So I hope this is helpful. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Feel free to also suggest any questions that you might have about Illustrator or share your own tips and tricks with integrating uh, Illustrator and InDesign. That's it for now. Good luck out there and keep making stuff. Cheers.